Last week, figure skaters from all over the world traveled to Norway to compete in the 2021 Cranberry Cup, hosted at the Skating Club of Boston. These skaters are some of the best in the world and are hopeful to be competing for their respective Olympic teams next winter. Skating Club CEO Doug Zaghype was thrilled about how the event turned out. So last week, the club hosted its first spectator events. Uh, it started out as one local event. It ended up being three events because of COVID and because of U.S. figure skating's comfort and how the club could handle a COVID safe event. So we had the Cranberry Open, the Cranberry Cup, and the Lake Placid Dance International, which came down to Norwood for one year only because the Lake Placid Olympic rink is closed for renovations. So it was an amazing week of competition, 503 athletes in total, 63 clubs from around the country, as far away as Colorado, Texas, Florida, California, and importantly, 21 countries, Russia, China, Hong Kong, Korea. It was a really impressive list of skaters here. In the senior men's division, uh, we had two medalists, uh, Jimmy Ma in second and Norwood's own Max Nomoff uh, in bronze. Uh, and then we had countless medalists and champions at the local level. It was pretty exciting for the club. Uh, it was a great, uh, uh, a great breakout first event for this club and this facility and, and the, the word on the street and across the country and actually now around the world is that what we built here really is best in class and one of a kind. Uh, so we're pretty pleased with that. Our next event uh, comes up, it's in September, it's a U.S. figure skating event that is also an international event and that list of skaters will be announced uh, actually next week. And once that happens, you can go to our website, scboston.org, see a list of skaters, see when tickets go on sale. And again, if you want to see some top international skaters compete preseason, um, as everybody winds up for their Olympic trials in their home countries, it's a good event to see. So over last weekend, which was the culmination of the week's competition, we had several hundred spectators in the building each day. Uh, we had a pretty strict mass policy with regards to COVID. Uh, everybody was compliant, followed it. Um, we had zero cases of uh, infection in the building and we're still monitoring to see if there's any reported transmission since, but we think we're good and we had a COVID free event. So we're pretty excited about that. We're pretty excited that everybody off the ice wore masks, there were no complaints. And the only ones who got an exception were the skaters and it was optional for them, but certainly all the skaters opted not to wear masks while they competed. The skaters from the Skating Club of Boston competed extremely well, finishing second and third in the men's singles performance. Second place skater Jimmy Ma was more than pleased with his performance. I was surprised then, not surprised, because like, I knew that I was training well leading up to it. It wasn't easy, but I pulled, uh, like, I pulled through, right? Uh, and so I kind of just knew, like, everything just was very, very automatic. Um, that attributes to my whole team backing me, you know, people of this club, my coaches, my teammates, just uh, the support was unreal, right? So I had faith in myself that I could really put myself out there and skate well. Getting second was surprising just because the caliber of skaters that were here. Obviously, you know, home court advantage, that was, uh, that was very um, satisfying to say the least. And then for like, you know, personal goals, I want to be able to add more expensive jumps into my program, which means just more difficult, more quads, get them more consistent, uh, while still focusing on, you know, the little things uh, to make a program great. Heading into nationals, heading into the season, I just want to have like a relatively steady way up. You know, if we have a bobble here and there, that's totally chill, but, um, at nationals, I really want to show like what I've really been working on. Hopefully making it onto the Olympic team, that's always the dream. But uh, if I fell short of that, I'm okay with it as, as long as I give everything that I have. Congrats to all the skaters that performed and to the skating club for hosting such a well-run event.